Matthew 12, 28. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or how can one enter a strong man's house that I'm carrying beneath me and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man and then he will plunder his house, which is under me. And he who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters abroad. Ephesians 1, 19 through 22. And what is the exceedingly greatness of his power towards us who believe? According to the working of his mighty power, and he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead, far above all principalities, power and might, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also that which is to come. In Ephesians 5, 25-33, Husbands, love your wife, just as Christ also loved the church, and gave himself to her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be whole. Not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she should be holy and without blemish. But she cannot do this without the righteousness and garment of God himself through the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit.